All right, hello everyone and welcome back. This is part 15 of my Mass Effect Let's Play series. Quick recap for everybody. Uh, the previous mission that we were on, we finished up the Novaria mission where we were taking down Matriarch Benezia, um, able to find out that um, she was there to get information from a Rachni queen that, uh, I, I think, I, no, it was Binary Helix. Yeah, that's right, that's the correct company. They were trying to breed um, Rachni after they found this queen in order to create an army. Well, the queen had some information about a, a mass relay that would lead to some secret location. So the matriarch was there to get that data. She was able to get it, and we got it from her as well. Um, ended up defeating her. We also ended up talking to Liara a little bit about her mom after the, after the end of the mission. Um, and now we're here. We're going to talk with some of the rest of the crew for a little bit. And then we will do a few side missions, and then from there we'll we'll keep going. Because right now, if you take a look, everything from so we've got the Rogue VI, which is we've got to go back to the moon. We've got to finish up um, some of the Cerberus stuff. There's a main Cerberus facility that we forgot to hit in the Voyager cluster. There's a Doctor at risk. We have to go to the Kepler Verge and warn the Doctor about stuff, and then we have to go find a person in the Strenus system in the Horsehead Nebula. There's just some stuff to do, and then over in the main missions we just have Pharos. Um, oh, I guess also one of the other things, we gotta finish up the, the fan. Uh, I believe that this is the last time, so I think it's like three total times you have to talk to him. There was the first time that we initially saw him on the Citadel. We went back after getting Liara, and now we'll go and talk to him again. We'll see what the fan wants. But first, gotta talk to Caden. See what he wants to do. Very awkward, sort of. Let me get right into position. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to talk. <laughs> no need to be so, like, I don't know, stiff, buddy. Loosen up a little bit. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Yeah, probably anyway, right hand man. Set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. I mean, you, we brought her along, but then she ended up having to fight her mom. And I, of course, we're not going to see it in. Sorry, the fly just came by. <laughs> We're not gonna actually see it in the battle, just based on programming. But but still, um, yeah. Let's let's get some information on what he thinks about the Rachni Queen too. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record. Always. If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. Yeah. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. He's got a good point. Um, it, it being a few thousand years ago. Well, I think it was a thousand years ago before this game. You know, the Rachni got killed off by the the Krogan, um, but at the same time, it was kind of like a split second decision. It was either let her go right then, or we're going to put you down. And of course, Steve, being the kind of a hole that he is, decided to put the Rachni Queen down. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the Stonewall that you've had from the Council. The Stonewall. I'm gonna go neutral on this one. I, it, it, I guess the way the council's been treating me is what I'm gonna take that as. And what do they think? They're on your side. They're pissed about oh, okay, the resistance yeah. we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare up. Don't make a habit of it. Come on, bro. We're not gonna be complete a hole. We're not gonna be like, oh, I totally care about you, Caden. Because I, frankly, I don't. Actually, ooh, we might change. All right, save that for later. Ever thought about going back under the knife? Maybe get an upgrade? Let me upgrade ya. One slip and you can't remember your own name. The L2 spike higher anyway. My abilities would drop with pain-free L3s. That'd be a cold day before I turn myself over to a Canadian subsidiary. Yeah, he's got to be pretty pissed off about what happened to him as a child. So let's let's get some information about it. You distrust them that much? You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified because the Alliance made mistakes. Hmm. After first contact, Kinetix was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Okay. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetix could bring in experts. 
instead of taking it slow. Oh, so instead of just humans, uh, other biotic sort of people to sort of help out. The only experts would have to be aliens. Exactly. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. Interesting. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. Yeah, that's sort of my thing, and the same thing is why not the Asari? Turians, as far as I know, aren't the best with biotics. Maybe more of the military training is what they're the going Asari for. The would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have oh, made yep, yep, yep. weak, so they discreetly hired some oh. Turian mercenaries. Yeah, mercenaries. That's that's sort of the issue there. If you would have gotten, like, regular Turians, they would have still been dicks, but they'd have been okay. But, yeah, Turian mercenaries, not a good idea. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. Oh, and gosh. their choice of teachers didn't help much. Uh, yeah. Oh, of course he had a bad teacher. Did your knuckles wrap a few times, Lieutenant? Yeah, you could say that. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Jeez. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Military discipline is something else other than that. That's, I guess, I wouldn't say maybe torture. Close enough, probably, is what they dealt with. We'll get some more of that in Mass Effect 2, too. 2, too. Sounds like a classic drill instructor to me. The ones at the Makapa boot camp were brutal. Vernus didn't just push us because it was effective training. He liked it. Oh. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. Okay. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? All right, so that's interesting. We're, we're, we're sort of breaking down Caden. I'm, I'm not sure if my renegade options are sort of turning him off from uh, fully talking to us. Um, I think later on we definitely get some good info from him on what happened with his previous Commander, Commander Vernus. Sorry, I was having some technical difficulties getting the elevator to work. Are we okay? Okay. Whew. Alright, sorry, we were at a loading screen, just kind of froze for a little bit. Uh, do we need to? Maybe? Let's go talk to Garrus for a little bit. I like talking to Garrus. Commander, good to see you. Yeah, you as well, Garrus. Ooh, interesting thing. So the voice actor who plays Garrus, I'm watching Criminal Minds lately. The voice actor that plays Garrus is in one of the episodes. I'll have to put that information into the description or maybe on the, the screen or whatever. But it was crazy because at first I didn't realize it. Guy was in the show and, and he sort of changed his voice was a little bit higher pitched. And then later on in the episode, he had the, the Garrus sort of like deeper growl. And I'm like, oh, dude, that's totally Garrus. Little brother didn't believe me, though. F you, buddy. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. Okay, you want to elaborate there, Garrus, or are you just going to leave me hanging? I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. Uh, yeah. That case was a bit disturbing. Ooh. What happened? Why were Tell you investigating me. them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. Okay. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. It could have been both, I guess. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. But they're not as bad as the cyclones. Yeah, cyclones. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. Jeez. But this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. See, it's interesting. I just was talking about Criminal Minds, and this would sort of be something if Criminal Minds was taking place in the future. 
that they'd sort of cover crazy stuff. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. Interesting. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. Ooh, Dr. So Hart. Went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> Cro and what, they got more than a couple? You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility counteract the effects of the genophage. It's not exactly it how it works. Work, but yeah. That doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. So that's four for all you people at home watching this. It's killing out there. That's right. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. I imagine one of them sort of slipped up. Good thinking. Blackies are always easier to scare. Exactly. Though in this case it paid off in a different way. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body. Cuts so everywhere. Fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. Yeah, so he's sort of growing duplicate organs and cloning them and then cutting them out of people. So he was growing spare parts in his own employees. That's crazy. Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. That's nuts, dude. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the wow. organs were it's gotta be terrible. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. That's crazy, yeah. I take it this doesn't have a happy I ending. Hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never, never caught him. What the hell, buddy? Why not? What the hell happened? He ran. Blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. Jeez. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop it. I'm sure some of them were like, hey, I'd rather die than, than go with that. Yeah, you just let him go. He's still going to harvest the organs. They're going to be tortured, pretty much. It's terrible for him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties. The ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. Aye, I told aye. them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. Dumbasses. Come on, man. Terrible. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I... Yeah. Because now that they're just sort of living that miserable life as test tubes, they're forced into it now. Instead of being, like, on the Citadel, they're in whatever tight ship. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those hostages might be wishing they died by now anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I just wish it's... I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any leads? Because, you know, I'm itching to do some side quests. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His mm. idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to oh, check it out. Oh, yes, we're going, baby. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But, Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Oh, you're coming with me. Don't worry, Garrus. We're doing cool stuff together. Right, let's talk to Ashley. Commander? What's, What's the technical appraisal? 
You mean the Rachni, right? Uh, they were yeah. dangerous, Commander. They proved that two thousand years ago. You that made stupid the right decision, blue sir. light, dude. You know, you Why? To to Sony about her mom. Why? She has to be hurting. Just saying, Commander. Yeah, I already talked to her. Get this stupid lens flare out of here, Bioware. What the hell, man? Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Oh. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Ah, interesting. So I turned her down. Usually, that's it. they're talking about Commander Shepard saying, "Ooh, he's hot." You overhear it, and it's like, "Oh boy." But I'm not gonna do that. It's unprofessional. We're gonna we're digging deeper into this, finding out the the love connections on the ship. Are you interested in the lieutenant chief? Of course not, sir. Fraternization is against regulations. Oh my What's god! Up? Get this. You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. I get the stick out of your ass. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters, especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Let's get some more information. Uh, well, I gotta wonder. Do we really care? Like, getting some of this information is sort of nice, but at the same time, are we wasting more time than not? Because really, this is all stuff you can go look up. You're not really sitting here to to watch me talk with people. You know, we want to advance the story. Yeah, After we're gonna help continue. raise them. Your sisters still talk to you. Amazing. All oh, that it's voice acting. Oh, terrible. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. Mike, you asshole. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. <laughs> We're not going to ask about vid mails. It's not boys will be boys. It's a dick move, buddy. Sounds like that situation didn't No work. means no. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. That's sex. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing Mom and Dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. Huh. Police, come on, bro. Yeah, you know, what happened anything happen while you were home? My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look. This, let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. Ah, uh, the she confrontation. Cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. Uh oh. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. Dang, nuts! She cracked him in the face. Good. Good for her. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. Break that arm. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. What a baby. <laughs> the Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. That was pointless dick move, buddy. Well, it's actually kind of interesting, you know. Where was your father during this? Wasn't your family stationed near him? Dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I have enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. Unfortunately, I'm bored now. <laughs> What's this crap? <laughs> Terrible. I, unf I, I know that probably one of these is the better option. We're, yeah, we're we're going with it. Um, and truthfully, I don't I don't even know the the passage if it's a real. Is the rest of your life story this dull? Ooh, 
Not everyone can bust up a slaver ring on their first Sick trip, man. burn. Some of us just live ordinary lives. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. Mm, from the beyond? He's not a zombie, is he? <laughs> you know, <laughs> wherever that is. <laughs> That's oh, not man. a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Um... Not really, but are you? Yeah, are you crazy about that it? Depends on whether you have a problem with people who don't believe in God. Commander, I'm not some kind of zealot. I believe in God. What everyone else believes is their business. I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. Oh, ooh, she's pissed. Dismissed, Chief. Talk to you later. Sir. Get the sir, sir. Ah. So that's the thing. It's like we talk to these people, and are we really? What do you want, Shepard? Hey, we're talking with them. A few people that don't want to. I don't care. I do what I want. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Uh, yeah, I asked you. You want to talk Such a little as? bit? Come on here, buddy. Such as? I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? Uh huh. I was betrayed. Oh. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. Hmm. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war, he wanted us to fight. Turians, Solarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. Yeah, so it was the, the Krogan rebellions when they sort of rose up and they wanted more power. They were sort of out of control with their breeding and uh, had to be put down. Luckily, I think the, the Turians showed up, I, I think, a little bit after the Krogan rebellion started or helped out in in some major way because they were a very military based society uh, and just pummeled the crap out of the Krogan and I think bombed them back into the Stone Age. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop mm. his ranting. Not officially in the Stone Age, of course. The tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. Yeah. We told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I tell you that in last, though, you got stabbed in the back. I take it the warlord didn't appreciate yeah. that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. Orange crush. We met at the hollows. Near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from. And where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. I'm sure Rex went in there with that mindset, but he probably got hit. It sounds like a trap to me. It's a you trap. Must have suspected as much. I did, but when your father invites you to a crush, well, oh. there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Yeah, see, he sort of left out that bit where uh, Jared is your dad. Jared was your father. He was, until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. Ooh, attack. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. Jeez, nuts, dude. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left. And that's why I'll never go back. That's nuts, dude. Couldn't imagine. So long, Rex. 
Shepard. Complete betrayal by his own father. Terrible. One more person to talk to, that's Tally, and then we're gonna go and do some side missions. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Ooh. She's interested. You get to see you smiling again. Oh, so yeah, you can't exactly see her, of course. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. Just sleep in this room, you'll we'll be fine. I still think a lot of we'll about the though. I know Sterin's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. I mean, there's been a whole bunch of stuff we've come across. You couldn't pick up, like, one interesting thing? What are you hoping to find? Usually, people bring back something like a derelict ship we can use for salvage. But I need something bigger. There's a lot expected of me. But why? What's so special about you? But why? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for Top the lives dog. of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. 17 million is crazy small, though. That is nuts. Oh, uh, yeah, she's royalty. She's like a, a princess. Why didn't you tell me this before? I guess I'm just tired of people judging me because of who my father is. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. So she's got a lot to live up to, so she's holding herself to a higher standard. I get that, but... Like, at the same time, you don't have to bring home... Like, you're not gonna bring home, uh, Sovereign, the ship, and be like, Hey, look, everybody! Look at what I got! No, you just... What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the Exile. Hmm. They've continued to evolve. We've done our Ugh. best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. Yeah. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But okay. I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Saren, then I'll worry about my own problems. I really don't feel like feel like going into about her father. I wonder if I should go. I, I should go. See you later. I wonder if there's like a mission that she gives like, hey, I found Geth. Because uh, that's not something I remember from my previous playthroughs, so it'd be interesting. We're not going to talk to the rec officer, are we? Uh, you know what? Screw it. We'll go do some side missions first. I'll update our inventory once we're all clear of a few of those. Off camera, of course. No need to waste time sort of sitting there like, hmm, what should I buy today? <laughs> Get that, man. We waste enough time already. I don't need to waste more time. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Oh, patch it through. I'll take it in the comm room. Interesting. What's this new data? Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Oh, tell me. What kind of information? We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Okay, continue. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. Okay. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. And... But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Uh, yep. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Okay. Cool. We'll go there. Look into it. The Council prefers not to Later. become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. 
We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Where is the Turian guy? He feel like not showing up? He's like, ah, F, F Commander Shepard, he sucks. He's a terrible man. Maybe you're terrible. Why are you on the desk? What is going on? What the hell? Get off the desk, you jackass! Presley, how are you floating? <laughs> what the? Add that to the list of bugs. Bioware, if you're watching, I sure hope you fixed a lot of these. Ooh, that was right. Alright, so we've got a few side missions that we gotta do. Race against time. There's technically no race against time. Uh, so we've got the Rogue VI. I know that there's something... Yeah, if we go to the Strenus system in the Horsehead Nebula, we'll find Gareth's brother in a ship. We gotta go to the Kepler Verge for two things. Let's stay in the Horsehead Nebula. Let's get that uh, Gareth's brother. Gareth. Gareth. Whatever the hell his name is. Yeah, right in there. Disembark. From the snowy wasteland that is... Canada. Message coming in. Oh my it gosh, bro. I have a difficult assignment, Commander. Oh You're my I can trust to get it done. gosh, a why? Darius in the Skillian Verge who controls most of the Raider activity. I'd like you to negotiate a ceasefire with him. Ah, oh, fine. Wouldn't an Alliance negotiator be better suited for this assignment? Darius won't respect an Alliance negotiator. He built his empire by killing his rivals. But with your very public achievements, you represent a strong image that Darius has to respect. I'll talk Show to him. Show him that the Alliance won't back down. Won't back down. Show him he better make peace while he can. Take no for an answer. No, don't take no for an answer. Shut him down. Talk to him. I still think this is a mistake, Admiral. You're not under my command, but we need you for this job. You're the only one that could get it done right. The meeting will take place on a remote barren planet. I'm transmitting the coordinates now. I'm also transmitting the background for this negotiation. Fifth Fleet out. Alright, so we'll have to read the background a little bit, and then we should be all set. Go to whatever system that is. Zawin. Oh, a level one colon. Isn't that where we gotta go? I'm confused. Okay, so there's only one place we can go to. Oh, wait, I saw something. Never mind. There it is. The ship. Leads toward the nearby planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I needed to go there, and now we can land. Really? Was that necessary? Don't include the picture of it if I'm not supposed to go. Terrible. Trash. Got the level one cold hazard. Oh boy, we've got a lot of stuff. Abandoned camp, we got anomalies. Alright, we're gonna head there. So we're gonna go boom. Then we will circle. Go baby, go! I can sort of understand why this planet would be barren being like an icy tundra. 
So that part I'll be okay with. Otherwise, I would complain that there is nothing on this planet. Yeah, I don't care about that other thing. We go to the Iridium first. Survey that mineral. Jesus Christ, Marie. They're not rocks. They're minerals. Looks like they were trying to... Do something. Yep. Let's try to mark the nearby mineral deposit. But I got there instead. Ooh. Got that bumpy ride. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Uh, stupid uh, Harry Potter movie. It was the one where they were on the uh, the double decker bus and the sort of talking, like shriveled heads. You know what I'm talking. Nice, we got some locations of interest from the generator. Ah, I like some mineral deposits. So we've got the private, ooh, the privateer. Yar, har, fetal dee dee. Alright, let's head over there. Let's go to the debris. Actually, yeah, let's head down to the debris over there. Knock some of these things off. Ah, oh, we missed them. Um. He'll go to the debris, go up to the anomaly, go to the top right to the other anomaly while hitting some of the mineral deposits, and then we will end up at the privateer base. Figured we'll get everything <coughs> out of the way. That's the anomaly that we're going to hit second. Man, I'm tired. It's bedtime, baby. Ooh. It's one of the worst things you can have at work when you're just kind of, you're sitting there and you're falling asleep, you're trying to do stuff, trying to stay awake and you're just, like, passing out. It, it's terrible. Been having that all this week, not sure why. Just been a little slower and sluggish. Ah, shit. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die! Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Ah! What is with this thing, dude? Too bad you're not hitting me. Oh, I'm too good. Oh wait, it did hit me. Rats. There we go. Killed it. Woo. I was about to say, like, I thought I killed you. <laughs> not fighting you again. Oh, rats. Oh, too good, baby. Too good. Got some good stuff. Get back in the car. That was kind of... Kind of cool, kind of a waste. I know, Thresher Maws are... Eh. Sort of enemies. We're having some troubles in one of the videos. Where it just kept killing us, but... Eh, now we're not having that many issues. your jets, Garrus. Oh, perfect. Insignia. Getting lots of money, lots of cash. Hopefully the privateers aren't too hard to beat. 
We've sort of upgraded ourselves quite a bit since our previous planetary missions. So we should be okay. Opening. At least one of the things they sort of added, like, the proper sort of trails you would have. So on some of the rockier planets, you'll... looks like dirt is getting kicked up by the tires here. It's snow-ish. I don't know, just it's sort of small things to try and create more of an immersive feel for you. got loud. Loud up in here. <laughs> oh, it's a trap. It's a gas trap. It's a gas trap. Does that mean we can, like, run away from them? Can it hit me is the real question. Very boring way to play, but kind of the better way, especially on the higher difficulties. Nice. There she is. Yeah, I don't care. You suck. Get out of my house. Get out of the kitchen. Because I'm cooking. I don't know where I was going with that. Alright. Uh, let's keep rolling. Let's go pick up the mineral deposit, and then we'll be facing the privateers. I think we might, we might call it quits after then. We're... We're getting high on the uh, the time limit here, and I don't want to waste anybody's time. And I think we might have screwed ourselves. Gucci. Nope, we're still good. Okay. Wasn't sure if it wasn't, if it was, like, gonna not let us out or not. That would have really sucked. We would have died, and we would have had to redo the whole mission. And at that point, I would say, screw that. Throwing up the deuces, and I'm out of here. But instead, we are going to take on the base, which... If memory serves me, we should probably... Yes, it does, Garrus. All right, two down. Haha, -ha, dead. Woo. Thanks, Garrus. Oh, rats. Okay. Get in the building. Let me upgrade you. No, we don't have any upgrades. Rats. Pull the guns out. Make sure you've got the right guns. Yes, you do. Open that door. Take them out. Enemy is everywhere. 
We failed there. Oh boy. Alright, do that. I will throw. Yeah, do a singularity and let me do that. Alright, let me do let me lift you. They are do that. Okay, someone's gotta th throw that. Garrus, do something. Garrus, come on, buddy. You are killing me here. There we go. You are dead. We're doing a lot better than we have in the past. Not dying as much anymore. Because we are not as trash. Even though we've got a runner coming at us, I will throw that away. Oh crap, we got a sniper. Alright, we've got a sniper right there. Do that. Jeez. I got the crap beat out of him. You are trash. Oh, just a regular mercenary? Oh, that's gonna be easy. Cool, cool. Right. Let's head into this room, see what's going on over here. Area secured. That is the wrong button, Shepard. Good one. Take everything you can and run. Alright, that's it in here. I right, put away the guns. That we were not as hostile. Oh, so close! Head upstairs as well. I think in the second one, is it. Maybe this one? I can't remember if I can... I think so. Yeah, we'll try it. There's like a quick way down if you go over there. Oh. Wrap tightly around a data pad. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay. That was... The, yep. Never mind. I'm dumb. I was like, oh, it's gonna give us like another mission, and then we gotta go find somebody else. And it's like, no, I don't wanna do that. Okay, we got a nice codex entry, and we're good here. Cool. Nice job, everybody. High fives. All <coughs> oh, excuse me. High fives all around. Wow, terrible. Yeah, I know I'm reaching the limits. Ooh, oh. Ah, yes. Okay. Yep, and see, this was... It's technically supposed to let me, like, fall. Yep, like that. Okay, cool. And that's how we get down quick. Negative contact. Well, maybe if you wouldn't have taken fall damage, Garrus, we would be okay. Whoa! Stuff blowing all around. And that's all, folks. So we gotta go to the Citadel, talk to uh, Gareth about his brother. We've got a negotiation in the Hades Gamma, but first we're gonna go to the... We've got Kepler Verge, we've got Kepler Verge, so we have the Newton, and we have the Herschel system. So we're gonna do that. 
Um, Voyager cluster also for Cerberus. Hit the right button and we'll go. So we're gonna go to the system. I think I wanna do Dr. Hart first. Herschel system. Alright. Don't even have a message. Don't don't send me a message. Okay, good. Alright, yeah, we've got a, a ship over there. Let's look at all this stuff first. Just kinda clear it out, that way we, we start up nice and for part sixteen. Getting up into the twenties pretty soon. Sort of been uh, slacking on my video creation this week. I've been, uh, I it was editing the other video, uh, Best in the League, which today is the 28th, so this is actually going to release in May. It's kind of cool that I'm uh, like sort of preloading sort of stuff, so you're sort of seeing gameplay not just like in the past a little bit but like way in the past i don't know it dumb stuff from me so yeah so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do a few more side missions in part 16 sort of set ourselves up in order to be ready to do the the main quest once again um i not a i'm not a completionist i would say i don't go like a hundred percent but any sort of available mission that i can do i'm gonna try to do so that's what I'd like to do before we get into most of the uh, the main missions. We still have to go to Pharos, which is one of the other main mission planets. We have to go to Vermeer now, um, and then I, there's one other main mission later um, on a, another planet. And then I think that's the end of the game. But before then, of course, do the side missions, get those out of the way. We'll be good to go. So thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to tune in in a couple of days for part 16. I'm gonna try and get that recorded and up and good to go. I'm gonna keep this sort of bi-weekly schedule of Wednesday and Saturday. So be sure to check back on either of those days, usually around, I think like noon or 11 a.m., depending on your time or whatever. It's It should be, try to keep it consistent on those days. Uh, so yeah, be, be sure to tune in for those and keep on watching. Um, if there's anything you want me to do in the the videos anything that uh, any mission anything you want me to talk about just kind of put in the comments of the videos I, I read all of them um, so you know be sure to reach out to me and hopefully you're enjoying the videos thanks again for watching everybody I think we'll end it here this is tapman signing off